Hello, young man. Hello. Well done out there Thank today. You. Hard fought win, especially when it takes two days. Let's take a little bit of that stand loving from the crowd. Give it, give it. They all gathered because they knew you were coming. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here for them. <laughs> I'm here for them. Stanley, it took you two days. Not not yes. easy. What are some of the challenges to having your match stopped in the in the middle and then coming back today? Yeah, yesterday was a tough day for everybody. Uh, it was raining a lot during the day. Many many stopped during uh, all the matches, and uh, of course it's much easier to to sleep and to come back when you five for two up in the first <laughs> set. That's I can guarantee you. But uh, yeah, for me the most important was to be really active from the first one. Uh, he was serving to start. I wanted to be really focused on what I wanted to do and trying to be aggressive. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. I think it was a, a great match in general. The level was good yesterday. Yeah. Again today, amazing atmosphere on court three. So I'm super happy. Yeah, listen, he's a, he's a tough out. Doesn't matter what court you play him on. Your game, every time I see you, it's moving nicely in the in the right direction. What do you feel is is coming together more and more? Yeah, it's, it's every time I see you, it's uh, I never see you in the second uh, match. Huh? Let's because make it two in a row here. See again, okay. like Rome in Madrid, <laughs> you always see me after my first run, and I say, see you next year, next round. Uh, no, never happened. So, <laughs> no, it's been uh, it's been good so far. Like uh, like I told you since the beginning of the year, I, I, in general, I'm playing well. I'm, I'm feeling good on the courts. I need to I need to win matches. I need to keep uh, pushing myself those tournament. But uh, stuff. Huh? Everybody is playing here. You play. Uh, Tough match from the first round. Now I'm playing against Frances. It's going to be a super difficult challenge. He's a good friend, great, great guy to play. So hopefully I can uh, play my best tennis. I have to, I have to give a little love to to your journey here because earlier in the year, you know, when you cracked in the top hundred again, you you posted a beautiful picture of yourself as a kid and said you you still have that same love for the game now. And and I have to tell you, in the live rankings, you're you're now back into the top 50. Which is That's which good. is which step is step by step. step Trust by step. the process. Trust the process. You love that. You love the, that. In this in this journey to be able to continue getting back to where you've been, can you think about some of the milestones that have really meant a lot? Not necessarily match wins, but even emotional moments that have really helped you on this journey. Yeah, as um, for, for for me, it's about it's about what I'm I'm doing with myself. How I'm pushing day by day. Of course, uh, of course, I want to be higher in the ranking. Of course, I want to win tournament and uh, go far in tournament. But uh, when you come back such old at 38 years old after one. No, no, no. Hang on here. 38 is not old. Let's not get crazy. Hopefully here. not. But okay. <laughs> for playing tennis, trust me, when you play kids who's 20 years old, uh, top five in the world is not easy. But uh, well, let's 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 flip that. You know, when you come in at 38 with all the experience you've had, multiple time Grand Slam winner, you come in with so much experience under your belt. Are there moments out there where where you feel you can really make a, a young feeler, a young player feel all that experience? It's not that simple. If tennis was that simple, it would be much better for me. But uh, no, I think at the end of the day, I, uh, my focus is on is on me, is on myself. As I say, is what I'm doing. If I want to improve, I need to to work harder. I need to keep yeah. pushing myself. And sometimes you have goal long term. You have goal at the end of the year, six months. But what's more important is what you're gonna do tomorrow. How you're gonna do a better day than you did yesterday? And if you can do that with the great, with the good discipline and with a smile, if possible, it will help you to be better. Discipline and a smile, recipe for success. Lo Always love to hear it. Always. You, you got to tell me a little bit about your your week in Umag, because you played some your beautiful tennis there, and you were very emotional at the end of it, which which we all love to see, mm -hmm. especially someone just cares so much about what they're doing, especially when they've been out there for so long. What was that week like? Yeah, like you say, it's because I care so much. I, uh, that's that's also why sometimes you get nervous, why sometimes you you cry after after losing a final. But uh, yeah, it was a, it was a really positive week. I was enjoying myself there, like like always, a lot of support, uh, big fans there, and uh, I was playing well. I was playing good tennis, and of course, when when you get into the final, you want to win the final. I also know that uh, that's really if if I have one goal is to win one more trophy before I retired. So. Of of course, it, it mean a lot that final. I was that close. I knew I missed a stupid backhand on the break <laughs> one in the first set. I still you missed a backhand. I haven't seen that in so yeah, long. That's that's why I lost <laughs> it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. After you know, after it's everything. Everything is fine. Was uh, was um, still going in the right direction, uh, playing much better. So yeah, I'm I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be in, in Mason, Ohio, and uh, hopefully I can play a big match tomorrow.
Well, I, I think it's going to be more than one more trophy you're going to win. But um, let's talk about that next match. I, I know you cherish the moments in front of the big crowd even more these days uh, at this stage in your career. You, Francis, that's going to be a showtime match. There's going to be a lot of people out there. How excited are you for that challenge? Yeah, I'm really excited. He's a, he's a really good friend. Or, or I always joke with him. Now he's a big player. He doesn't really answer to me anymore. But uh, <laughs> no, he's a, that's a private joke. But uh, he's, a, he's a really good friend. We, 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 we know we've been playing some big battle in the past. Hopefully I can show my best tennis and, like you say, put a, put a good fight on the courts. But uh, of course, I'm going to try to enjoy and hopefully there will be a, a good match. We absolutely can't wait to watch you, Stan. You were fantastic today. Um, I just want everyone to get a good look at these magnificent Tennis Channel mugs that we have here. They're evolving from coffee mugs now. This is like a takeaway one, and I have a good feeling that, uh, as you always do... But this is uh, the American style. That's why in Europe you have the mug. Here is so, the so takeaway. You're, so this so is you're going to steal one again? Of course. Thank you very okay, much. Okay. I'm oh, not stealing. Yeah. You give it to me. No? Yeah, that, it's, it's, listen, for you, Thank you. absolutely. Thank for you no other much. player. Stan Wawrinka three-time Grand Slam champ, and a yeah. coffee mug stealer. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, love seeing you playing well, Thank brother. You very much. He'll move on to the next round where he'll take on top tenor. Francis Tiafo will certainly be a blockbuster match, but uh, certainly some spectacular tennis as he takes out Brandon Nakashima.